currently in the UK there's a lot of talk around citizenship and residence rights because of Brexit. If we leave the EU, if it ever happens, and when it happens, there's obviously going to be certain differences when it comes to uh, British citizenship and British residential rights and all of that kind of stuff. And with all that going on, I thought I, a born and raised British citizen, will take the British citizenship test and see how well I do. I'm not sure if it's the official one, it's just, found, it's just one I found online and we're gonna give it a go. And of course, feel free to play along at home. Uh, if you're a British citizen, see how well you can do. And if you're not a British citizen, see how well you can do. I have 45 minutes to answer the questions. I haven't prepared for this at all, so I don't know what the questions are gonna be. Let's just see if my knowledge of being a British citizen is enough to pass the British citizenship test. Let's go. Question number one. As a British citizen, what are your responsibilities? Choose two answers. To respect and obey the law, I think that one's pretty obvious. To walk your dog only during the day, to go to church on Sunday, that might have been the case 200 years ago, to look after yourself and your family. So I'm assuming definitely got to be uh, the respect and obey the laws. And I'm guessing the other one would then be to look after yourself and your family, which I didn't know was a responsibility I had. Question two, who made the first coins to be minted in Britain? Ooh, okay. Stone it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I got a feeling it's the Romans. Or was it before then? I think it might have been before then. I don't know. The first coins to be minted in Britain. I'm going to say it's pretty old. I'm going to go with the people of the Iron Age. No idea if that's right or not. Who built the Tower of London? Technically, it was sort of built over time, but I believe it was originally constructed by William the Conqueror. There were 15 national parks in England, Wales and Scotland. What are national parks? Areas of protected countryside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Northern Ireland has its own established church. I don't know. There's definitely the Church of England, but I'm not sure about Northern Ireland. I'm going to say that's false. Which three territories performed Great Britain? This is a tough question question because there's a difference between like the U the United Kingdom, Great Britain, the British Isles. I should know this. I think Great Britain doesn't include Northern Ireland. I think it's just the ones in on the actual landmass itself. So I think it's England, Wales and Scotland. How often are Prime Minister's questions held in Parliament? Every week, Wednesday at 12 or 1 pm. Which king was executed in 1649? I have no idea. And why in the world are so many English kings or British kings named the same thing? So Charles II, I believe, was the king who was in power when the American Revolution happened. So that, I think, would be too much too early. This would have been too early. I'm going to go with Charles the first. I don't know. Where was William Shakespeare born? Stratford-upon-Thames. I knew that one. Sorry, upon Avon. There's so many ponds in, in around London. Which two of the following are famous British Paralympians? Ellie Simmons is definitely one. Kelly Holmes? That name rings a bell? I think. I'll go with those two. Who was reigning in England when English settlers first began to colonise the east coast of America? I'm going to go ahead and guess it's Charles II because I know he was there during the war. It probably... Was it Tim? Well, that was quite a while ago before the Americans broke out and were treasonous. Can't remember. I'm gonna go with Charles II. Scotland and Wales use a system called individual registration where all those entitled to vote must complete their own registration form. True or false? I don't know. That sounds quite... The wording of the question makes it seem like it's false. All those entitled to vote must complete their own registration form. I think maybe you can complete it for someone else. I can say false. On what day is the birth of Jesus Christ celebrated? That's Christmas Day. I'm worried that the trick question is like, surprise, it's Boxing Day. What sort of battle was the Battle of Britain fought between Germany and Britain in the summer of 1940? That was an aerial battle. Where is Swansea located? Well, that would be Wales. Which two political parties formed a coalition in 2010? That was the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats. Look at that, political knowledge getting me through. Who established Church of England? That was Henry VIII, because he wanted to divorce his wife and, um, the Pope wouldn't let him, or something. In 1348, one third of the population of England, Wales and Scotland died as a result of which disease? 
that was the Black Death, I'm pretty sure. I've been surprised at how history-based a lot of these questions have been. Haggis is a traditional food from which area? That would be Scotland. Which court deals with minor criminal offences in Scotland? I know very little about Scotland. I've actually never been. Um, I'm going to go with the Crown or the Magistrates. I'm going to go with Magistrates. Which two of the following records gives us information about England during the reign of William I? Ooh, that's tough. I don't think it's the Canterbury Tales, because Chaucer... When was Chaucer? I think the Magna Carta was about King John. I don't know. I've been amazed how history-based a lot of these questions are. This is like a lot of history from sort of primary school to middle school that I haven't done in a decade. I'm gonna go, because I think the Magna Carta was King John. I think, I think, I think, I think. So I'm gonna go with the Doomsday Book and the Bayon Tapestry. In 1913, the British government promised home rule for Ireland. Why were any changes in Ireland delayed until 1921? Well, couldn't have been the Second World War, because that was way uh, later. Couldn't have been the outbreak of the Black Death, because that was centuries earlier. Because there was not a king on the throne? Maybe, but I don't see why that would make a difference. So I'm guessing it's got to be due to the outbreak of the First World War, which was obviously only a few... Oh, it was next year, it was the year after. Which of the following statements is true? Elizabeth I was a Protestant, and she succeeded in finding a balance between the views of the Catholics and the more extreme Protestants, or the other way around. Um, I'm gonna guess she was a Protestant, based off very little knowledge. Which two documents do you need to apply for a national insurance number? You don't need a contract from your employer, I don't think. You probably need, I think you probably need proof that you can work in the UK, and then a document that proves your identity. I don't think you need a contract. You might need a document with your address on it. Maybe you don't need your identity, and maybe it is a dress. Do I think you need to be living in the UK? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go with identity and a document that proves you have permission. Boom, those are the 24 questions done. Let's see if I passed. Okay, finish quiz, here we go. You have reached 21 out of 24 points. That's 87.5%. Congratulations, you passed the test. Come on, I passed the test for the my own citizenship of the country I was born and raised in. I mean, I don't know why I'm celebrating too much. This would have been super embarrassing if I hadn't passed. But I did get 87.5%, which I'm actually pretty happy with. I'm now very intrigued to see what were the three questions I didn't get right, but I'm actually really glad. <laughs> I was a bit worried when it got very history like orientated. Brilliant. That's great. I passed. Let's see what I got wrong. Ah, oh, okay. One of the famous British Paralympians. So who is Dame Kelly Holmes? Oh, she is an athlete. Oh, but she wasn't a Paralympian. I'm gonna give myself half a point. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, who was reigning England when the first English citizens began to colonise the East Coast of America was actually Elizabeth I. I did not know that. No way! Is it the Justice of the Peace Corps? I thought that was a joke. I thought that was like the, oh, let's put a ridiculous answer that no one's going to choose. The Justice of the Peace Corps. That's brilliant. So, there you go. Uh, I passed the British citizenship test, and I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're a British citizen, I'm really intrigued to see how well you did. If you've sort of been playing along, then feel free to leave your how many answers you've got in the comment section below. If you're not a British citizen, again, I'll be really intrigued to see uh, if you've got any of these answers. I was amazed at how history-based a lot of them were. Uh, so I'm guessing that when you're sort of planning and revising for a UK citizenship test, you're probably doing a lot of history work. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'm genuinely, I'm smiling because I'm really glad. I'm just relieved that I passed because I was, I legit haven't studied for this. I thought I'd, you know, um, film this now. I hadn't seen the test before. So I'm really relieved that I actually passed. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.